Welcome to This Must Be Heard, a reoccurring podcast featuring discussions of Delaware County Community College's events, achievements, and initiatives. Today, Kate Escalante and Chase Kuhlman talk with our guest, Professor Naya Kelly, about the benefits of joining the Phi Theta Kappa College Honor Society. Thank you for listening. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of This Must Be Heard. Today's episode, we will be going over the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. I'm your host, Chase Coleman, the Vice President of the Beta Psi Pi Chapter of PTK, and with me as my co-host is Kate Escalante, the Vice President of Services. Today, we'll be interviewing Professor Kelly, the Beta Psi Pi Chapter Advisor, as well as the Associate Professor of Communication Studies. Thank you for having us, Chase. I just want to thank both you and Kate for having me on and using this platform to highlight what our students are doing. So thank you. I appreciate it. The pleasure is all ours. So let's get right into it, shall we? Professor Kelly, can you tell us what is PTK? Phi Theta Kappa is a student resource that recognizes the academic achievement of our students, but it also provides leadership and service and also networking opportunities. So speaking of networking, Kate, can you tell me how you found out about PTK? Certainly. I heard about PTK and one of the club and organization informational sessions that the college holds every beginning of the semester. What really intrigued me was that a lot of students were interested in joining PTK. However, to many of their surprise, and especially mine, there are qualifications that are needed to participate in PTK. And at that point, I had made it up to myself to really meet those qualifications. So it seems they're really making an effort to kind of branch out to a bunch of different students, as well as myself. I am a remote student, so I didn't really know about PTK until they invited me. And I honestly felt I felt excited, you know, being invited to an honor society, even though I couldn't attend on campus. Um, it just really meant a lot to me. So, um, Professor Kelly, why exactly should students like Kate and myself join PTK? Uh, Thank you for that question, because I could answer that for hours and hours, Um, but I will start by just saying that one of the advantages, all the things that you can do in terms of contribution, I think of Sherry Walkman, who was inducted into PTK, and now she is the vice president of their alumni advisory board, Um, but I also think of our current students like Jacob Beckman, um, Kate yourself, Tori Wilson, who received scholarships through PTK. Um, Our students are attending the Catalyst Conference that's held annually. They're serving the community and they're also holding executive offices, just like you mentioned in our chapters. So we're doing great things. Um, I do wanna mention that just like Kate said, that there are criteria. um, And one is that there is a fee for uh, PTK, but I want students to know that each semester we provide waivers for those fees and also PTK itself offers scholarships. So there's ways to be able to join without having to pay a fee. So it seems like PTK is really striving to be a mutually beneficial organization by providing students recognition for their achievements and offering them opportunities to benefit their community in the same process. So that's a really nice thing to hear. I know it definitely brought me a lot of benefit. Again, since I'm a remote learner, I I kind of felt disconnected from my classmates and my professors, but PTK really gave me the motivation to keep working hard, keep working on it, and gave me a medium to keep in contact with my classmates. Kate, have you ever had any similar experiences with that? How, how has Phi Theta Kappa benefited you? Yeah, same here, Chase. Being part of PTK has been a great benefit for me. Through the Honor Society, I have been able to win a couple of scholarships, like Professor Kelly mentioned, such as the All-PA scholarships and a scholarship through the Coca-Cola um, as a Silver Scholar. Being Vice President of Service has really allowed me to achieve my community service efforts. I know not so long ago, we held a food drive in our chapter, specifically in Coatesville, and to have planned that out and receive assistance from not only my fellow members of PTK, but other individuals at the college and the community. So having to experience that was really, truly amazing. Professor Kelly, I wanted to ask, how can students get more involved with PTK to access its resources, such as scholarships, webinars, transfer assistance? 
You guys have asked a lot of great questions. Um, one of the things that we do is each semester, Phi Theta Kappa holds meetings, and they're typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays during Q time from about 11 to 12, and so students can participate in those. But also, it's important that students access the Phi Theta Kappa website because on it, students can get training through what they call PTK Edge. Um, and there's a couple of different training modules. So for example, there's uh, PTK Employment, there's PTK Competitive, uh, I think it's Competitive Edge, and then there's also PTK Research. And so you can get uh, or develop skills in terms of interviewing skills. You can uh, develop uh, interpersonal skills with competitive edge, and you can also develop further as a student with research edge. So there's all different ways that you can um, access and benefit the um, everything that Phi Theta Kappa offers. So it sounds like PTK is really promoting leadership and scholarship, both through education and experience with their executive, um, their executive positions and their many programs they offer. That sounds like a really excellent experience. Yeah, definitely, Chase. I have experienced that, and joining PTK has been a great benefit, like I mentioned before. Absolutely. Um, this is an organization that recognizes the talents that our students have, and we hope that they contribute to PTK. It sounds like an excellent program. Unfortunately, it looks like we're out of time. So once again, I'd like to thank Kate Escalante for joining me. And of course, our interviewee, Professor Kelly, for joining us today on This Must Be Heard. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the listeners for tuning in to listen to our program. Make sure to like the video on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for more content. And we're out. And now a word from current and former PTK members. Hi, my name is Kelly Lunkwitz, and I'm the current president of Phi Theta Kappa Alpha Tau Epsilon. Hello, my name is Victoria Wilson. I am the founding president of the Beta Psi Pi chapter. Hi, my name is Leah DiPietro, and I am vice president of services. I'm Jacob Beckman. I'm the current president of the Beta Psi Pi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Hi, my name is Kate Sally Escalante, and I am a new member. My name is Frederick Chagall. And I am the former secretary of Alpha Tai Epsilon chapter of PTK at Delaware County Community College. For my entire high school career, I assumed that being good at academics wasn't cool. But by the time I got into college, I didn't care as much what people thought. And somehow, I managed to hold a strong GPA and earn my way into Phi Theta Kappa without even realizing what I was doing. I recall attending a meeting about clubs and organizations at Delaware County Community College. PTK was mentioned once. However, to my surprise, it was one that you had to be invited to join. I was never too familiar with honor societies because I never fully thought I could achieve being inducted into one. I was lucky enough to be the first in my family to attend college. After finishing my first semester, I was surprised to make the honors list. This gave me motivation to go further and raise my GPA. I expected by joining, I would meet other students with similar aspirations in life that would help us connect and work together for the betterment of our community. I joined PTK because I believe being part of an honor society could open doors. Being a non-traditional student, a student in recovery, and a student needing outside supports, I wanted to set goals to enhance my self-esteem. Once I was inducted into PTK, it gave me a greater appreciation for academics. I particularly enjoy the respect that I am given as a scholar. There's a certain level of prestige that is bestowed on members of this society, and everyone seems to respect it. Coworkers, employees, friends, and family. When I was invited, I had a GPA of over 3.5, and it's been a wonderful way to connect with other students who are also scholarly, Joining PTK definitely opened the door for me to apply for scholarships dedicated for PTK members and even attend events for members to stay focused in college. I also love helping out the community, so this gives me many opportunities to do that. Being a parent of three small children and a student at Delaware County Community College has been a challenge, especially during COVID. PTK motivated me to do my best in all academic endeavors and assisted me in building confidence and accountability. 
As someone who is planning on going to medical school, I wanted to take as many opportunities as possible to obtain scholarships as well as show colleges that I am a hard worker who takes on many responsibilities. I paid $100 for participation and already earned a $1,000 scholarship with potential for even more. PTK changed the course of my academic career because I was selected as a leader, a promise scholar, and made the all-state PA academic team. By connecting with other scholarly students through Phi Theta Kappa, I've been able to focus on my studies and collaborate with other students who also work very hard to maintain excellent academic progress at the college. Having an opportunity to join an honor society is something I never fathomed. It wasn't only an accomplishment for me, but for my parents to know that their daughter is excelling and being recognized in their school. And I encourage all current members to take advantage of the benefits that PTK offers. If you're a student who's been invited to join, I highly recommend you become a member of this society. Thank you. You've been listening to This Must Be Heard, brought to you by the New Media Lab and Campus Life. Today's hosts and producers were Kate Escalante and Chase Gulman. Our guest today was Professor Naya Kelly. Thanks also to the members of PTK who participated in this episode. Our editing and other post-production efforts were completed by Raven Amaro. Victoria Colbreth and Samuel Larson designed our cover art. Indigo Frazier composed our theme music. And I am Amy Rodriguez Miller, your announcer for this episode. Please be sure to like this episode on YouTube and follow us on Instagram at DCCC underscore New Media Lab. Thanks again for listening. <laughs>